Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending March the 18th, 2022. Well, the big news this week is that the Fed actually came through with that 25 point uh, basis point uh, rate hike has been uh, predicted. So the market welcomed that news. The Fed's addressing inflation. Uh, and uh, although in, in a very, very gradual way. So that prompted uh, a Fed, a St. Louis Fed President, Mr. Bullard, to come out this morning and say definitively that his was the, pretty much uh, the highest dot on the dot board that they used. And so he and about eight other members of the, of the board are, uh, of the FOMC are, are advocating for even uh, more aggressive action by the Fed right now. Uh, the Fed's looking for maybe upwards of 2% by the year end. These uh, other, other members are calling for upwards of 3% uh, to aggressively attack uh, inflation. And they reference uh, previous aggressive Fed moves back in the mid-90s that uh, worked out okay and aggressively uh, addressed inflation then when you had uh, uh, slowing growth and, uh, and, and increasing inflation and it worked out well in the 90s. So this is uh, where these guys are coming from. The markets welcome the news, pulled back a little bit uh, early on this morning, but are finishing the week uh, better than they have since January. And uh, all of the major indexes are, are, are pushing up right now on a daily basis. Uh, and, and the small and mid caps are actually breaking out of correction territory uh, into uh, the right side of the fence, we'd like to say. Uh, the S&P and the NASDAQ have yet to pull through that. Uh, all the indexes on a weekly basis uh, and longer term basis are, are still uh, fighting that resistance point. So we're hoping for great things next week. Now, in terms of a rising interest rate environment, now we're still early on into this, but we know that more is coming down the road. So how does that affect our bond markets, our fixed income investments, okay? So here we're looking at, we know that bond prices are going to fall uh, as time goes by with the higher interest rates as new issues come out, okay? Uh, with, with the higher, reflecting the higher interest rates. So bond yields generally are gonna rise. What does that do to our fixed uh, income alternatives such as uh, our, and annuities, okay, so our popular ones, uh, now variable annuity, in my, in my view, if you're going to be variable uh, and, and deal with that risk, uh, there are some guarantees out there, but why not just uh, work that in the market for the expenses? You could be safer and better employed, uh, generally speaking, in a fixed indexed annuity. A fixed annuity, of, uh, okay, is, is simply one that, so that's going to do better because your interest rates are going to increase as the insurance company's general account increases overall, higher interest rate environment is going to benefit insurance companies. The fixed index annuity is going to benefit because the insurance company's general account is doing better. That allows them then to in, uh, increase the cap rates on the fixed index annuity payout rates. And so you're participating more uh, in the uh, index move, the strategy uh, movements of the indexes to which your strategies are linked in the fixed index annuity. And then also generally the payout rates are going to increase across the board. So this is good news right now for those types of uh, fixed income alternatives uh, to, to be looking at. Okay, so you get increased caps on your strategy, your index strategies, as well as increased participation rates on those same strategies. Now, just in closing, let me remind you that only with an annuity do you get the additional benefit that comes along with that guaranteed lifetime income stream that, that is provided primarily through mortality credits. Okay, that's the benefit of risk pooling. And so that's what you get when you start looking at these types of alternatives that you can never get in any type of other investment product you can't get a, a guaranteed lifetime income stream out of a bond, okay? You still have that risk element that's there and you're gonna have fluctuation, all right? So those are things to keep in mind as we move into this brave new world. Enjoy your spring break, enjoy March Madness, and most importantly, stay happy and I'll see you next week.